Hey guys, it's Dev here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Project, and welcome to the episode 25 special. We are fighting the Ender Dragon. So, we'll see how this goes, I guess. So let's pretty much just hop right into it, because I have a feeling this is going to be a longer episode, just based on everything. So first off, we're going to take these longer lasting potions for sure. Take strength, and then we're going to apply swiftness too. And then we're going to throw another splash potion of healing. We'll take the regen once we're in there. But other than that, I think it's go time. Alright, we did spawn actually in the end, that, so that is good. I was really afraid that we'd be out on a platform. And at least at this point, we have a place to retreat to. Okay, that is not the way I wanted to go up. I want to go this way. So, I didn't even place a bed at the whole ender portal, so let's not look at any endermen and that stuff. So I'm going to run out to the middle and kind of just make myself a little area to hide and just watch out for... Thunderman. So this will just be a little tr retreat area. I see the Ender Dragon. He's making some noise, huh? So there we go. We got a little area right here. Let's take this regen right now and then start shooting down towers more or less what it comes down to Cause shooting down the ender dragon while the towers aren't down there's no point to that so we got that first one got that second one three down oh that guy's just a small one yeah, of course that's the one I miss he must have the poison let's see if we can That man was getting wrecked, so him coming down onto the pillar area is definitely a good move for us. Sorry about these freaking messages. I wish I would have turned off the disabling and stuff. Ooh, alright. We gotta go up to those, which is no good, but I guess that's what makes this interesting. Don't want to make any Enderman mad, that's for sure. Come on. Let's see if this... There we go. Alright, those two we gotta go up to, and looks like those are the only two really left. Alright, we look good on the strength and everything, so let's... Let's head up. I want to get Cobble for sure, and then I want the Water Bucket at hand just because don't want to fall off all the way. We should be good. Hopefully we don't get knocked off because that's really how you lose this battle. We are all the way up. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is just making a little backstop for me because I know that explosion is going to be bad. So. Hit it. There we go. Wasn't too bad actually, but we ran our regen, so let's pop that again. And then I guess we'll ender pearl over to this guy. There we go. Want to do that backstop again? Trust me on that one. That's good. There we go. Sorry about the messages, guys. Can't really do anything. Alright, let's get down from here with a nice ender pearl. Just splash him. Healing. And I didn't even bring the god apple just because I figured this is this would be quite easy. And to tame this dude is pretty easy. Probably drink some more strength once he goes up. Yep. Alright. We'll drink that guy. Oh, these guys are pissed. 
Alright. This is why I made this place. I can just rack in. Let's take care of this dude while he's here. God, I can't get him. I'm having no luck getting him right now. I guess we're gonna go to the bow just because I don't wanna deal with him anymore. poison ball though. Those things are so funky. And Definitely one of the best parts about defeating the Ender Dragon is how much XP you get. Especially because you want to just walk around here because sometimes you will get some in the Ender Portal and when you actually pop out of the Ender Portal. So, well, next to actually get is the egg, which I wasn't the smartest cookie, but if you do it this way, just a cool tip. So you come right here and you actually dig one under it and you just place a torch then you can pick it up and it kind of works like sand does there we go we got the egg got 69 levels probably it'll hit 70 once we jump back in didn't have to really waste any potions or anything like that so let's hop in there we go we got the credits I'll let these roll just cause I see the player you mean. Ah, dev32 question mark. That is the gamer tag. Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. Oh, fun. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. That is true. We got here. Even though those freaking creepers. Oh, I hate those. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. <laughs> it's pretty funny right there. That is how it chooses to imagine many things. When it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible and less terrifying than starting or staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamt of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it, or it dreamt it created, and it dreamt it destroyed. It dreamt it hunted and was hunted. It dreamt of shelter. Ha. The original interface, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It works with a million others to sculpt a true world in a fold of the Hemo, maybe? And created the something for something in that Anne. It cannot read, though. 
no it has not yet achieved the highest level that is m that it must achieve in the long dream of life my bad there not the short dream of a game doesn't know what we love or doesn't know that we love it oh my my reading is awful right now please excuse me on that that the universe is kind sometimes though or sometimes through the noise of its thoughts it hears the universe yes but there are times it is sad in the long dream it creates worlds that have no summer and it shivers under a black sun and it takes its sad creation for reality to cure it of sorrow would destroy it the sorrow is part of its own private task we cannot interfere sometimes when they are deep in dreams I want to tell them they are building true words in reality sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe sometimes when have not when they have not made a true connection in a while I want to help them to speak the word they fear it reads their thoughts sometimes they do not care sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take for the truth is merely something and something I wish to tell them that they are blank in the blank they see so little of reality in their long dream and yet they play the game but it would be so easy to tell them too strong for this dream to tell them to life is to prevent them living I did not l remember the credits being this long I would not have read them if I would have knew this but we're all the way in this way, might as well keep reading. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing relentless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words. Not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Tell me that's the end. Yes, player. It is the end. I'm kidding. I wish you read that though, it would be kind of funny. Use its name. Dev32 Dash, player of games. Good. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel air in your lungs. Let your l limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again. Under gravity in the air, respawn in the long dream. There you are. Your body touching the universe again. At every point. As though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of... The mountain, father, son, mo mother, moon, and central spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the great green man, then gods, demons, angels, something, aliens, a really long word, lepitons, quirks, the words change. We do not. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through the skin in your eyes. And why does the universe touch your skin and throw light on it to see you, player? To know you and to be known. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was dead 32. Sometimes it's though itself human. On a thin crust of a spinning globe on the molten rocks, the ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas that was 330,000 times. It's talking about the sun. They were so far apart, it took, yeah, the light, yep, alright, they're talking about stars now. Sometimes the player dreamed it. It was a miner on the surface of the world, was flat and infinite. The sun was a square and white. The days were short, there was much to do, and death was a temporary inconvenience. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in a story. Sometimes the player dreamt it was the other things in other places sometimes these dreams were disturbing sometimes very beautiful indeed sometimes the players woke from one dream into another then woke from that into a third sometimes the player dreamed it watched words on a screen let's go back 
The atoms of the player were scattered in the grass, in the rivers, in the air, in the ground. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank and ate uh, and inhaled. And the woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body into a long dream. And the player was a new story never told before written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made from nothing but milk and love. You are the player, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. Holy crap, I am not reading this anymore. I just want to see how long this goes. It's talking about protons. Sometimes it's called planets and stars. <whistles> this is a lot of reading. You are the player reading words. I am alive. Holy crap, that is one long paragraph. I really want to, or I really wonder who wrote this whole thing at Mojang. And what kind of, like, could you imagine your boss coming up to you and be like, you usually work on video games. If I need you to write a six-page paper about the end of defeating the Ender Dragon. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I guess it's funny, though. And I guess it would be cool if you've never seen this before. And that type of stuff. Usually I just skip these credits because they're long. I've never actually went through them. That's kind of why I was curious. You are the player. Wake up. Pretty sure that's the end. Continue. There we go. We are back at the house. Ha! Ah, feels good to be home. And it feels way better not to be reading that stuff anymore. <laughs> Whew. Well, I guess next episode we're hopping back into the series, getting back on it, and then grinding to episode 50 and taking on probably the Wither or the Guardian. I'll let you guys decide on that one. I'm guessing the Guardian's a bit easier than the Wither, but we'll have to really see, and I, I'm not quite sure because I've never taken on the Guardian, so we'll see. Well, anyways, I hope you guys did go on to enjoy, and I hope the episode isn't too long, but it might be. But what can you do? It's a special episode, and we got our first boss kill, and we got that dragon egg. Too bad you can't spawn in a dragon. That'd be even cooler. But anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.